friends welcome back to my channel sass here i'm here to finish up my recap of 90 day fiance before the 90 days you know since last night i was so rudely interrupted with my trash box internet y'all when i tell y'all i called them up this morning <laughs> The worst. The worst. But anyway, I'm here. And I'm going to finish up talking about Jasmine and Gino and Amanda and Mr. TikTok. What's his name? Rabson? Razvan? Whatever. Okay? Let's talk about Amanda and uh, Mr. TikTok, child. Apparently, they have yet to booty bump. Is that is that what we're taking from this? It's been two whole days and still nothing, just a little hickey on the neck. Okay. So, Mr. TikTok is in there making some pancakes that look real dry. Okay. Real dry. Stuck to the pan. I was like, why are you messing with it? I will say, Amanda was like, why are you messing with it? I was like, just leave it alone till they get the little bubbles on top. But he says that he makes the best pancakes in the world, you know, for the TikTok women. And he likes to put chocolate on his body. Meanwhile, Amanda's over there like this. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> oh, she's going to get on my nerves all season, child. So, of course, he was upset with her about the whole... You know, her not wanting to come to the United States, you know, quite yet. Moving too fast. You know, the kids need to get adjusted to another man being around the mommy. And, you know, of course, them. All right? And so, Mr. TikTok was like, no, wait a minute. I'm a little bit confused because me and your children have somewhat of a relationship. And I think that was the goal here. Okay? Me ending up in the United States with you? So what's the problem? He feels like that um, Amanda is trying to push him away. But he's going to show her grace. Okay? He's going to be patient with her because of, you know, the death of her husband that she likes to bring up every five minutes. And then they kiss through the wall. Child... So it's time to do a little grocery shopping, food shopping, or whatever. And then we find out not only is Amanda somewhat insufferable, okay? She is a very picky eater, okay? The only thing Amanda eat is air. That's all she eat. She don't put no salt on the air. She don't put no pepper on the air. She don't put no hot sauce on the air. The only thing she eats is air and probably a lemon go to this little grocery store and so Mr. TikTok is trying to you know find anything and, and something that she could eat. He's like oh my god here's some waffles here is this here's American this surely you can eat that. I don't eat processed foods. I don't eat dairy. I don't eat meat. I don't eat vegetables. I don't eat fruit. I told you in the car, the only thing I eat is air. <laughs> Girl! I bet you Mr. TikTok is saying, I know what you ain't eating. <laughs> you know he's like... <laughs> so... You know, she's she's in the in the grocery store whining and complaining and saying what she can't do. Okay? So then they go to this little park, botanical gardens, where there's all these birds, birds. Child, I was like, ooh, y'all remember that movie? The birds. Mm-hmm. So walking and hollering. You know, they probably seen Amanda get out the car and they was like, Child, who is that? Them birds was like this. Y'all see her? Y'all see who is that? Who is that man? Is that that man show is fine. Who is that woman? She looks miserable. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Even the birds talking about your child. So then they sit down and then he tells her 
sure that he has a video to do, okay? Because he is not only a social media star, he also wants to pursue music, okay? Another one. Oh, God. Okay? So, he's talking to his, you know, he's telling her about the video, and of course, there's a woman in it. And what did I tell y'all? What did I tell you? See, it's okay for Amanda to bring up her ex-husband every five minutes in front of Mr. TikTok. It's okay for Amanda to tell Mr. TikTok now. No, you're not getting these goodies, okay? It's okay to for Amanda every five minutes to complain about something to Mr. TikTok. But the minute he says that there's going to be a woman in his video shoot, I don't like that. I don't like it. Okay? She says that he is uh, flirty. That um, he flirts with the girls on the TikTok. Okay? And that, you know, her jealousy will come out. Girl, that's how you met him, dummy. You met him on TikTok. Where you gave him a dollar and ten cent. A little balloon. Amanda, you're not, you, you know what? You're not going to get on my nerves this season. But your jealousy. And then she was like, well, he better not kiss. He better not kiss her. Are you going to kiss her? He was like, I don't know. Are you going to kiss her? I hope he rams his tongue down whom's ever the road. That's what I hope. So they sit down. And so he says, you know what? I'm going to talk to my producer. And I want her to see that I'm serious about this. Okay? That she has nothing to worry about. Okay? I, I, it's a music video. So, while he's talking to his producer, of course, Amanda's like is. So, of course, they're talking. She hears her name. They're talking. She hears her name. They're talking. She hears her name. And so, she says, I find it very rude that I'm hearing my name during this conversation. And I don't understand what they're saying. So, of course, here is Mr. TikTok trying to explain to Amanda she has nothing to worry about, but her jealousy is going to kick in. Child, is, can, I, can I move on? Can I move on? Sure I can. Last and most definitely least, Jasmine and Jim. All right. Now, we have already confirmed and established that Gino is stank. Okay? We have we have confirmed that. Alright? We had Riley take a shower from his long travel. We had Misha take a shower from his long travel. Not Gino. He stank. Okay? We we we've already established that. And he didn't want none of Jasmine's goodies. He did. He didn't want. He want none of it. He was tired. But see, that morning, okay, that morning he wasn't tired, child. All right. He felt frisky. Still yet had taken a shower because see, Jasmine said that she got the old poke in the back. Y'all know what that is. Okay? Y'all know what that is? The old poke in the back. Okay? That's what she woke up to. So Gino got him a little bit of morning booty, child. Ilk. Still ain't take no shower. Okay? You can't convince me that he got up, took a shower, and then got back in the bed. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. 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 No. Mm-mm. But see, Jasmine said that it was good. I said, oh, God. <laughs> Jasmine, really? Ain't no way. Ain't no way that DNA is good. Ain't no way, child. Bye. And what is smell? So it's time to give gifts, okay? Jasmine said, Gina, Gina. I'm glad you're in a better mood, Gina. I want to apologize for how I had to, Gina. Thank you for blowing out my back, Gina. 
So Gina said, oh, hey, don't you worry about it, Yellowsword. Don't you worry about it. I got your gift. <laughs> so Gina done pulled out this little travel pouch or whatever it was. She wasn't impressed. So Gino said, okay, I got one better for you. He pulls out a box of hair. Over $300 strand of hair, child. She was not impressed. She says, now wait a minute. Okay, you know, thank you for that little piece of hair. But do you see all this, Gino? Do you know how much it takes to maintain all these luxuries, lux, Gino? Do you know how much is on my head? I got 10, okay? You just gave me one. I got 10 in my hair. $3,500 is in my 3,000 racks. I said, excuse me, ma'am, what is said on your head costed $3,000? I know the devil is a lie. $3,000 for that? Girl, go somewhere else. Okay? I'm going to need for you to find somebody black. Okay? I'm going to need for you to find somebody. I know somebody could do something better than that. That was $3,000. Y'all, I almost choked. So Gino was in shock. Gino was like, well, I thought that was half that. She was like, of course not, Gino. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my hand, Gino. Okay. $3,500, Gino. Gino, look at that. Look at that. So, of course, Gino, he's talking about how much it is, the maintenance, the maintaining. Jasmine is a lot. So they go out to eat. And so Gino says, I'm going to have to bring up this, this prenup. Okay, I know she's going to throw a whole fit, but I'm going to have to bring it up. And that is exactly what he did. And baby, you can see the anger <laughs> coming out of Jasmine's eyes. Jasmine says, we have discussed this. Okay, I ain't signing nothing. Okay, uh, I think the fuck not. It seems like bitch. to me that you don't trust me. She says that her ex-husband, when they got a divorce, okay, she got nothing. He left with everything. She got nothing. And she says, no, uh-uh, ain't gonna happen again. All right? She was like, do you love me, Gino? Do you love me, Gino? How could you ask that of me, Gino? And then she says, F you. Okay, she said, F you today, F you tomorrow, F you next week. I ain't signing a mother freaking thing. And you can take that to the bank. Are we ready to go? Check, please. He paid. <laughs> so here is, you know, Gino. He said there, he is just, he don't know what to do. Okay, he did eat, he had to box up his food. She done got up. She's upset. And so. Out they go. So it's the next day. And he says that Jasmine is still pissed off at him. That she done slept in a separate in a separate room. And haven't spoken to him. So he says, I'm going to have to talk to her about it. So he done got him a piece of paper. And put a pen to it. Yeah. I said, I know you did. You just didn't find no envelope. That you done found in the back of your luggage. And you think that's going to be a binding? Cause he was just writing on some piece of paper. I said, oh, Lord, here we go. So he knocked on the door. She opened it, okay? He was like, look, Jasmine, okay? Let's just talk about this. Let's just talk about it. No, Gino. How dare you, Gino? You don't love me, Gino. I love you. You don't love me, Gino. How dare you, Gino? And so he's trying to reason with her. He was like, listen, just listen to what I have to say. Okay? Look, I wrote it down. And she was like, oh, I? She was like, I ain't signing it. I told you I ain't signing nothing. Okay? F you. I'm not signing it. Just leave it alone. So Gino, he was like, you know what? You saying that, you doing that, you're proving to me that you don't love me. You're proving to me that it's all about money. She was like, oh, it's all about money with you, Gino. It's all about money with you, Gino. F you, Gino. F you. I mean, she was 
was the veins was popping out of her head, her neck, her eyeballs. I was like, oh Lord, Gino. <laughs> Leave it alone. So Gino, he gets up, he goes into the room, he's sitting there looking like a fool on the stool. And then here comes um Jasmine. Jasmine overhears him talking and she busts up in where she said, You're talking about me? You talking about me, Juno? Get the F out. Take your feet to the mother freaking street. Get the F out, Gino. Get the F out. <laughs> and I think to myself, girl, how you gonna kick him out? He paying for it. <laughs> Three K a month. Get the F out. And so Gino said, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. He said, listen, he says, if you just listen to me, if you just read this, it really isn't that bad. And so she said, let me see it. She said, let me see it, Gino. So she's reading it, and actually, it wasn't that bad for her, okay? All right? Now, if, you know, there was some cheating going on on his part, she'll get more money. If he was to leave her, she'll get more money, okay? But if she was to cheat on Gino, okay, it wouldn't be no stipulation. Did I hear that right, y'all? It was a whole lot going on. Y'all let me know in the comments, y'all. And so he was like, see, you're not even listening or reading, okay? It's, it's really not that bad. And she was like, you know what? Here you go, Gino. That's what I think about your prenup. Gino. Get out, Gino. That's what I think about your prenup. And so then she goes in for the kill. She says that her ex looked better than Gino. She said that her ex was a better lover. She said that her ex was good to her. I bet her ex smelled better than you, Gino. And then Gino said, oh, here we go. He said, you're the worst person I ever slept with. And he said, listen, why ain't you with your ex? And I said, okay, Gino, I give you that. <laughs> Gino said, don't be throwing the ex up in my face. Why ain't you with him? See, you're about to go in that room and cry tears over me. Why ain't you with your ex? And she said, you won't understand, Gina. You don't understand. So she goes into her room, and baby, when I tell you she was crying, snot flying, she was like, ah, <laughs> 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 Gina. Oh, Gina. <laughs> How could you do that? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to cut off your toes. <laughs> Gina, what you gonna do about that prenup, honey? Y'all, is Jasmine finally gonna, um, um, sign that prenup, child? Child. Anyway, that's it. That's it, y'all. Again, I apologize, but uh, sometimes these things happen. All right? If you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends, bye!